This is a picture of AMD's brand new CPU for laptops and reviews of AMD's flagship mobile processor, the Ryzen 9 4900HS based on SAN 2 actually went live today and as we were expecting, yes Intel is losing the game to AMD in both in performance and in the battery efficiency department and Intel is now forced to hand over the leadership to what has been the most lucrative computing segment, mobile computing over to AMD and what this all means for you and me is that from now on AMD should be your first choice in your next gaming laptop as the first laptops fueled by Forcey and Ryzen should become available during the spring. Hardware Unbox has actually reviewed and compared the Forcey 4900H to Intel's current Core i9 flagship, the Core i9 9880H. Now the AMD ship has its stock 45 uh, watt TDP beats the Intel one even with the Intel ship configured to 90 watt TDP which is just insane but it gets even better. Now the 4900HS is doing 11.9% better in Cinebench R20 when the Intel ship is bolstered with 90 watt TDP and a whopping 33% faster when the Core i9-9980H at stock settings and 54% faster when it's capped at 35 watt TDP. Keep in mind guys both these processors are 8 cores and 16 threaded parts. By the way I have linked up hardware unboxed video down below if you want to take a greater look and I highly recommend Hardware Unboxed, it's a great YouTube channel. Now we know that 30M for laptop was never really powerful enough to be considered a real threat to Intel's 9th gen and 10th gen core processors for laptops but with 4th gen Ryzen it turns out that AMD is now over 150% faster than their last fastest mobile processor, the 12 nanometer based Ryzen 7 3750H. And yeah guys, the story story goes on and on and on in Cinebench R15 for example, the 4900H is 34% faster than a stock Core i9-9880H. My question is, what is Intel gonna do about this? What would it take Intel to make a comeback here? And when can we expect Intel to respond? Guys, please help me out here. Now Intel has already announced a response to the 4900HS and we're gonna look into this in just a second, but first let's have a look at what we should expect of 4th gen Ryzen for laptops. Hey what is up guys, welcome to Arpin Hardware, my name is Robin, I'm your Swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent. Now for the first time it seems like manufacturers for laptops are uh, finally taking AMD uh, somewhat seriously. Now Ryzen 4000 for laptops or mobile are finally here and it seems like they are here to stay and the first laptops should be available uh, to purchase in the near future. And with Ryzen 4000 codename Renoir, AMD AMD takes the success of the Ryzen 3000 series for desktop and the Zen 2 architecture over to laptops. Are we talking 7 nanometer now being ported to the mobile market? And AMD has also integrated a Vega based graphics port on the same piece of silicon and made optimizations to give it better uh, battery life. Now the new AMD Renoir consists of two sets of processor families. One is the so called 15 watt U series and this one is targeting the ultra thin laptop segment. The other one is called the H series and this one consists of three models of 45 watt with target on portable gaming. On top of that we also find three additional siblings that make up the HS series and instead of 45 watt for the H series, this one lands at 35 watts and the H series aims to deliver the best of two worlds, both portability and performance. Let's take a look at the H series first. The top model here is the Ryzen 9 4900H. This one's got 8 cores and 16 threads with a frequency range of 3.3 GHz and 4.4. This one is flanked by a Vega graphics with 8 units up to 1.75 GHz. Up below this we find the Ryzen Ryzen 9 4900HS and this one takes a minor step down in max turbo down to 4.3 GHz while the base frequency takes a bigger step down to 3 GHz and the main advantage here is the 35 watt TDP which in practice means that it's easier to cool and thus makes it uh, you know better suitable for portable gaming.
gaming computers with slim profile dimensions, think Max Q based gaming laptops or laptops coming from Razer for example, simply put a very slim profile. Now to allow the manufacturers to be able to use the HS series, AMD has actually set up certain requirements they're gonna have to meet and one of these includes a case profile that must be less than 20 millimeters or 2 centimeters while the battery life should be at least over 10 hours and this is during video playback pretty high standard in other words the processors must also be paired with power efficient graphics cards such as AMD's own graphics cards or perhaps AMD's energy optimized models with max Q for example now below the Ryzen 9 4900H and the 4900HS we find a couple of Ryzen 7 models with the same number of cores at lower clock frequencies and slightly worse graphics and these are then follow up with the Ryzen 5 4600H and its slightly slower brother, the Ryzen 5 4600HS, which stands out a bit more because it's taken a step down to 6 cores and 12 threads. Now, let's take a quick look at the U series, unlike the H series, which are, you know, more targeted toward gaming computers. The U series instead aims at ultra slim, long lasting computers, and this is what Intel often refers to as Ultrabooks. And the top model here for the U series is a 50 watt model with 8 cores cores and 16 threads operating in 1.8 gigahertz and with the turbo frequency up to 4.2 and this includes a graphics part identical to the one inside the Ryzen 9 4900H. Now below this we find the Ryzen 7 4800U and we also find a 4700U and this one stands out a bit because it's lacking SMT which means that it only gets 8 cores and 8 threads and the graphics selection here also loses a CU unit. Now while I haven't really seen any gaming benchmarks based on the U series yet, I definitely do think that you're gonna be able to game on this ultra uh, low powered uh, CPUs as well and I do think we're gonna see pretty good success here in terms of frame rates and so in cases where you're specifically looking for a slim and a lightweight uh, machine and you are okay with gaming with slightly lower graphics presets, a uh, gaming laptop based on the Ryzen 7 U series for example could definitely be something worth considering. Now the question becomes what and when can we expect Intel to respond here? Well it turns out that Intel has already announced the response to the 4900HS in form of the Core i9 10980HK and the MSI Stealth GS66 is actually one of the first laptops getting this CPU. It turns out that these high-end notebooks are unfortunately pretty darn expensive and ultimately seems like we're gonna have to pay more than twice as much money for these compared to the Ryzen 4000 powered notebooks. This MSI Stealth for example is set to cost around 4500 US dollars. But again guys, what do you think about this? I am planning on testing a few of these new AMD 4th and Ryzen based notebooks, so you definitely want to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out of any of that. Now watch either of these two videos and I will see you guys over there. I want to thank you so much for sticking around this long and I will see you guys in the next one.